The pandemic has taught us anything and it's the importance of life. Now for some that means helping and giving back in ways that truly make a difference. Jade Cunningham introduces us to one woman who overcame her biggest fear to help save as many lives as she can. Okay. About every eight weeks. Because I had to really like get over this to come here. Yep, you're going to have a yeah. seat right there, man. You'll find Caitlin Seiler in this office. But then COVID hit and I just felt so like called to do something. And in this chair. I just remind myself like, hey, it's never, not once has it ever been as painful as you've envisioned it to be. Donating blood has never been on her radar, especially since needles terrify her. There was so much anxiety that went into it, hysterics. I was really dramatic about it. Um, I, I think I ran away once when I was a kid and all the nurses had to like obviously shut down the office and come find me. But a year into the pandemic, Siler wanted to give back. You can't go through life being afraid of needles. Facing a fear that's stuck with her since childhood. Is it hurt? This is something that I feel called to do. And I mean, how many signs from the universe do you need, right? I'm in a global pandemic and a relative of mine will might need weekly blood transfusions one day. And I was just, and I'm a universal donor. So I was kind of like, all right, I think, I think someone's trying to tell me something. I think this is my calling. Yeah, all good. yeah there we go. Not only is this my, my profession, it is also very personal for me. And I, I know the need for it 100%. Mickey Wilson Martin works at Auctioner's Blood Bank and has seen firsthand how these 10 minute donations save lives. March, my seven year old lost three quarters of her blood. When we got to the hospital, we were told that there was only about two minutes between life and death. If they would not have blood on hand to have given her right then and she had to have O negative, she wouldn't have made it through that. With blood supply now dangerously low. But you never know when you're going to need it. Wilson Martin hopes more people will follow Siler's lead. If, if everyone was a Caitlin, we would not have a critical shortage at all in this country. The pandemic has taken a lot from us. But for Caitlin, it feels nice to help. Sitting in this chair every few weeks has given her and others something to smile about. <laughs> A gift she says she'll always treasure. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Well, so far, Caitlin has helped about 15 people with her donations this year. If you'd like to donate, you can find information on our website, wwltv.com.